good morning guys and welcome back to a new vlog today is i literally my hair looks like i've been dragged for a bush backwards which is not cute today's it it's thursday it what and the time is um and it's half 11 um so i thought i'd just pick up the vlog today do another little daily for you i'm wearing this bright yellow top today which is from lovie's so cute i love it plan for today is i'm gonna go meet charlotte we're gonna go on a walk and get instagram content because i've run out of pics and i need to get some new springy fashion ones for instagram so that's the plan and this morning on my stories i did like a little section all about how i use pinterest for um like inspo for fashion and everything because that is most of my outfits i do put together myself but for when i'm like lacking inspo or I want to find new ways to wear things in my wardrobe i will always go on pinterest and i just yeah i just think it's the best it's the most dreamy place and i love it so much so i put a little um like a few stories on all about how i recreate my outfits from pinterest so i thought i'd also show you on the vlog um today like a few outfits that i recreate from pinterest that i'm gonna shoot today um i'm not actually meeting charlotte till like three because it's grey right now, but I think it's going to get hot later. Well, like sunny later, which is always good. Um, but I'm getting really hungry, so I don't want to have a snack or just wait for lunch. Um, but yeah, I hope you're all really well. I hope you're enjoying my vlogs, and don't forget to subscribe. If you are new on my channel, it means the world to me when I get little newbies. Um, come and join my channel. So yeah, the next thing I need to do is I'm going to do my hair. I think I'm going to go steal Alice's Dyson straighteners and do like a blow dry look. So I'll do it with you on camera. Oh my God, they just had the cutest little baby lamb, lamb go on this morning and it was called Tiny Tim. Like, that is so cute. Anyway guys, so I have got my, um, Alice's Dyson straighteners. I've used these quite a lot of times now. Um, and yeah, you just turn it on there and then you put the heat up to the level that you want and you just wait till it beeps and it does the job. Obviously these are wireless as well, so they're just so handy. Granted, they're a lot of money, but I do really like using them. And I was gonna get the, um, I was gonna treat myself to the Dyson Air Wrap, but, but I've decided not to just because um, I've got other things to afford now that like lockdown's easing. Um, I was kind of made that decision in lockdown when there was nothing to spend money on, but now lockdown's easing, I'm like, no, I can't be spending £400 when that could literally, well, has booked me a holiday. So, yeah. Um, but I do really like the straighteners. And while I'm living with Alice, I can use hers. <laughs> so, guys, I am really unsure as to what to do with my hair. I've booked in at Rush um, to get my hair done when they open. And I'm just not sure what to go for. I don't know whether to go for bangs again because, obviously, as you can see, I've got the shorter bits. But they've just grown out now and they don't look, like, good or styled. And they're when i got them done last time that also i found that she did them too thin so it's literally just like the smallest piece of hair and i can't style it very well so i don't know whether to go back in and get like longer bangs and thicker for summer and i want to get maybe a few long layers put in i usually have a blunt cut but i'm thinking maybe a few long layers so i can get like the blow dry look with the layers i don't know i'm just thinking like what do i want for summer um but yeah please let me know what you guys think whether i should get bangs re-put in or if that is like a bit of a, a done phase i don't know so i absolutely love these silk scrunchies they're from um a little brand called the silk collection i think on instagram and they're just lush it's 100 percent silk which means it's so much better for your hair um so i'm gonna start using these like religiously especially when i go to sleep i literally just do this <laughs> and it's done um so that's a bit too curly actually sometimes i have to like do a bit of trial and error i can't really see what i'm doing in the viewfinder either so i'll do some some pieces of my hair i'll do inwards and some i'll bring outwards so it's kind of like gives it a bit of texture and the key is to like drag it really far down and then let it go and it kind of gives you that blow dry look and when the hair is all done then the like, look really comes together and it actually looks more like a blow dry rather than just curled hair. Um, so yeah, just take a big chunk, well, a small chunk, bring it all the way down. And I always twizzle it as well and then it gives you that like end to the hair. So I'm just going to do this like all the way around my head, but I think I need to turn around and look in the mirror because I, I 
can't see what I'm doing in this viewfinder. I'm so blind. <laughs> Um, done it all the way around. I've gone for a little side part today because I just like the like classic hair look. Um, but this is my hair after I've also added in a bit of dry shampoo at the roots and um, a little bit of Morocco and oil as well. But this is like the look that it gives. One thing I don't like is that this is not to do with the product, but uh, it makes my hair quite a lot shorter when I do it this style um, than it actually is. But I'm having lunch now. I'm not sure what I'm gonna have. I'm just gonna whip up something easy and quick um, and a bit healthy. <laughs> For lunch but I've just basically bumped together a load of um, veg, a little bit of halloumi and a piece of bacon back there in the pan and I've got some lettuce, got some parmesan to top it with, it's kind of like a veggie salad, I don't really know what it is but um, yeah I just find these types of meals so sit quick and simple to make and really healthy as well with a little bit of nice bacon so yeah this is the situation. <laughs> Yeah, this is my little lunch situation and I'm going to watch, as usual, last night's Love Island Australia. <laughs> lunch and I've done some Instagram stories, some little chatty ones um, on my Instagram stories and it's literally started pissing it down, like this is just not you at all so I'm praying it stops in a bit because I just really wanted to, one vlog like getting an Instagram content day like behind the scenes influences in the wild um, and I also really needed some content so and I planned my outfits that I was going to shoot because right now, basically, guys, because I am... Um, can't see me. Shock. Um, because I am on... Where can I put you? Because I am on furlough right now and social media has always been, like, my hobby. This is what is taking up most of my time every day, like, doing Instagram and YouTube. So it's really important to me at the moment to, like, keep the content consistent and just keep putting things out. And also, I just adore, like, getting content and choosing my outfits and getting spring content at the moment. So... The weather's not doing me bits, to be honest. Also, guys, it's supposed to be 17 degrees next um, Tuesday. Um, 17, 19 degrees next Tuesday, which is just crazy. Um, so hopefully, I'm thinking me and Shah will go to a park and have a picnic and drinks or something. Um, but anyway, I'm going to finish my lunch and carry on watching Love Island Australia. Guys, the sun has come out and I'm literally praying that it stays that way. I've just done my, if it's gonna focus, I've just done my gel nails, I've just redone them and I just can't tell you guys how much I love 
this kit is just insane. I think I've got a discount code in my description box already, I think, for Semilac. Um, but if not, I'll pop, pop it down below for you because it just makes life so much easier. I mean, before lockdown anyway, I couldn't really afford to always be getting my nails done. So this means that I can have it at home all the time and it just yeah so good but anyway yeah i'm just gonna get ready to go meet Shah because yeah the sun's out and i've just got my pinterest up and this is one of the outfits that i'm gonna recreate um so this is matilda obviously you guys probably know her from instagram she just is so beautiful has the best outfits and i'm gonna recreate this outfit slightly differently but pretty similar as well so i've got she's wearing a kind of greeny colour blazer so I've got my white misguided blazer here a zip up black top and I'm going to zip it up to the top and then pair it with these black leggings that I've got on some trainers and my adidas socks and that is the outfit done and the next outfit that I'm going to recreate from Pinterest is this one it's kind of given me some inspo so I'm actually obsessed with this top I think she looks so gorgeous, and I've literally got such a similar one here it's so gorgeous from Miss Pap, like balloon sleeves and it ties at the front here and I'm going to pair that with my nasty gal mom jeans and then these sunglasses which I don't actually know where these are from I can't remember um so yeah that is like two Pinterest outfits and then my last outfit that I'm I'm hoping to get three today that would be ideal the last one I'm gonna get is these jeans again and then this um yellow sweater with hopefully some yellow sunglasses that Shah has um hopefully she'll bring them for me so yeah I'm gonna pack this all into my bag I try to wear shoe outfits that are also pretty versatile in terms of changing, like easy changes. So yeah, I'm going to pack these all into my um, like green canvas ASOS bag, which I'm obsessed with. I just love this. I use it all the time, like for food shopping, for pictures, for yeah, carrying stuff for shoot days. It's just ideal um so yeah i'm gonna pack this all up and then leave pretty soon also have this zara order arrive which i'm so excited about this is like stunning stuff uh Okay, this is going to be my location for a pic. I'm going to do my blazer picture with the um, black leggings. Yay! The third outfit of today's shoot and I've got on this cute little top from Miss Pat. I did a red lip and yeah trying to find the next location for this picture. I want quite like a relaxed vibe so I'm not sure where but I've got I've got two pictures so far and videos as well for my little Pinterest um inspo outfits video that I'm gonna do on reels. So yeah good morning god it's literally so far from the morning I don't know what I'm on about it's probably about three o'clock <laughs> Um, I have received this package today from Muller Yogurts and it came in the cutest little picnic basket and the man who delivered it was also the sweetest guy ever. He was so lovely and he was like, oh, we've got a little treat for you from Muller and they basically sent over their new um, flavoured rice pudding. Which is yeah, oh my God, the guys, our new little table set up is honestly just bringing me life i love it so much that yeah, is later on on a friday i've literally got my pajamas on i'm having a comfy day um got my hair flung up in a little weird bun thing tonight i've got a few treats for me and alice because it is friday night you know um and this lovely italian company you would have seen me unboxing it actually yesterday in my at the beginning of the vlog this lovely italian company has sent me this huge bottle of um espresso martini so yeah we're gonna have one of these tonight i thought that'd be a fun thing to vlog um we haven't got any cocktail glasses which is really annoying i was gonna go and get some today but it's raining so not sure if i want to do that and then i also picked up from ms a few goodies so guys oh my god i got this 
burrata if you know you know like burrata is just the most insane thing ever so i've got me and alice this to share tonight and i'm just so excited because i feel like i can never find burratas in shops ever this is the MS one and it's from um the region of puglia in italy which is actually where me and my boyfriend are booked to hopefully who knows go in september so yeah very cute this is such a treat and then i also picked up some parma ham to go with it because i just love this type of like food what do you call it antipasti is it i can't remember but yeah love this and And I also got from M&S, which I've eaten most of, I can't lie, these truffle chips, I mean crisps. I mean, how unreal do these look? Oh, it tastes nice now with ice, actually. Yeah. 